the Arma Creighton 8S. This is the newest version, version 1.5 maybe. Now, I've already run it, taken it out to Extreme RC Park here in Jacksonville, Florida. Took it out there, had a little fun with it. Truck survived. After the driving, after the flying, I'm gonna put it on the table, take the top off, and show you guys how well it did. Take a look. So the very first pull of the trigger, right here. No marks in the ground. Let's see. <laughs> Where are we at? Not bad. I'm on the oval here at Jack's Extreme. That's where I'm doing my video today. Let's go ahead and try some slow laps. So we have found a larger pile of dirt. Let's see if I can hit it. Ah, piece of cake. Let's see if I can catch it coming back. Seems to land really good. Oh, that was a rough one. Probably got some scratches on the chassis now. I had no idea what was on the back side of that. <laughs> Still together. The first rollover. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chassis while I got the opportunity. what happens when you're having fun. I have a really good ability to drive these fast cars directly at me. Almost like I knew what I was doing to land it right there, huh? what's on the other side of this dirt. I keep missing whatever might be there. Ooh. I thought that would be better. I gotta say it feels really stable.
have no idea how I landed that one. Oh, stuffed it right there. Don't try that at home, guys. <laughs> I was hoping I'd hit that dirt right. Not do that. Ooh, that was a hard sound to landing. Okay, brand new truck and I've handed off the controller. This is Gary. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh my God, you're trying to kill me. <laughs> now you're a Creighton guy. You're just, you're just mad at me because I like Traxxas. Where'd you go? <laughs> All right, you going to hit this thing? Dude, I can hit a better one-handed. Hit that thing. Well, that was okay. That's it. No more driving Arma for you. <laughs> Quick. Okay, it took us a minute to get into the car to get the uh, temp. So I'm going to do some runs down the road. One more pass just to make sure we're back up to whatever temp we were, hopefully. I mean, yeah, you, uh, you can tell it's not majorly fast but it moves pretty good all right let's pop this top all right temperature gun out let's see here esc 33.5 Celsius, 92.7, that's pretty good. Let me zoom out. Get some motor temps, 100, 111, 118, huh. 43 Celsius. That's 
not bad. Batteries are 92. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Well guys, let's see if it survived. Now, this is the new version, like I mentioned at the start of the video, which means the brace is only from here to here and here to here. No more long floppy one. Um, everything looks otherwise the same except for this major piece right here. This is a metal brace tied into right back there on the bulkhead, up into here on a chassis piece, and right down there to the chassis itself. That's really nice. That's a very well-designed brace, and the truck needed it. So, overall, I really like the truck. I think it done pretty darn good. It handled well. Now, I am going to go over the ESC settings, because I did adjust those. And to adjust that, I use this program card right here from Hobby Wing. This is what you get in the Hobby Wing 1080 ESC. It works just fine with that. You've got eight settings in there that you can adjust, and I'll show you guys the exact settings here in just a few seconds. You have to look at the book because it do, they don't really cord, they don't really mean what you see here. You have to look at the book and then go by that. But overall, I think it handled it really good, and the handling pretty darn on point. I mean, it's a big, oversized race truggy in my opinion. And hopefully we can get some racing. I've got everything powered up on the 8S batteries that I ran earlier. I do have two of the motor leads removed. You really don't want to take a chance on your RC going crazy for some crazy reason. And with two of them out, it won't even spit or sputter because you ain't got but one left. So not a problem. Anyway, here are the settings. Pull it up here. Running mode, I've got it on the stock. Motor rotation, you know, you don't need to mess with that. Low voltage cutoff, that's on high and it ran really good. BEC voltage, turn that up. The receiver is good for about 9.6. The servo is good for about 7.2, so 1.2 volts over, that's fine. Brake strength, I'll move that up to 75%. Reverse strength, now bump that up to 50% because, well, you kind of want it to have a little more speed in reverse, right? Punch setting, turn that all the way up. Motor timing, factor is at zero. I turned mine to 7.5. I've heard of guys running 11.25 with no issues. I may give that a try because it ran nice and cool out there. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to actually go through with this tuner and adjust some settings. So you plug this in to right there where your fans are, and then you just simply turn it on and here you go. Now setting one, and this is pretty much for all of them. I'm trying to get that light out of there. You can scroll through them right here, all eight settings. Now we're gonna mess with the number eight one, which is the timing. Then you just tap the value, the four, and that'll take me to 11.25. Then you push okay. And there you go. That's it. You can scroll through all your other settings. Simple, easy. Um, if you're a crawler guy and you got a couple 1080 ESCs, chances are you got a couple of these. If you're not a crawler guy, but you know some crawler guys, well, you need to get one of these. Simple and easy. And there we go. Now it's at 11.25 timing. So that'll be the next run. And there you have it. I'm happy with it. You could tell that wasn't, you know, super fast. I mean, you know, it's kind of slow, but I'm gonna fix that problem. It's gonna get a Castle Mamba Monster X with an 800 KV. I'm thinking 40, 41 tooth pinion with a stock spur. Should get me up to, you know, about 50 miles per hour, I hope. If you have one of these and you've done that combo, post up what pinion you're running in the description or in the comment section below. Let me know what you're running, how it's running, cool, um, wheelies, all those wonderful things. I'm not planning to adjust the diffs, the thickness of the diffs. If I'm going to race this, I want it to race like a race truggy. And you don't lock up a center diff in a race truggy. You want that front end to overdrive it just enough to hold yourself straight. You want to be able to hit the brakes, 
let that front kind of you know grip and let that back start sliding get you some slides around corners so that's my goal for this anyway um hopefully you guys liked the video there are links in the description i have affiliate links for ebay and amazon if you have anything in your cart use the links from any of my videos go to your cart and check out it gives the channel a little bit of a commission and every little bit helps so guys hopefully you like this video give florida rc outlet a call see if they got one for you guys thank you all for watching if you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit you can click that join button and actually become a channel member members get special privileges maybe even some member giveaways so make sure you check that out and as always subscribe like and share thank you guys for watching